Need to find out more about edit mode? Watch this video to get some answers. All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna go through edit mode. Um, there's gonna be a few different things that we're gonna talk about. First of all, we're gonna talk about how you can get into edit mode. And then we're also gonna be talking about what the various tools are that you can use, just a very brief overview on those. We'll talk about the different things that you can actually edit in regards to an object within edit mode. And we will also be going over the context sensitive menu that is available in edit mode. Right, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is actually get into edit mode. And there's two ways that you can do this. First way is using this menu up here on the top left hand side of the viewport. You just click on this and you can choose your modes there. See, got edit mode right there. Just click that to go in. The second option that you have is to use tab button. So if I press tab, it takes me straight into edit mode. All right, now that we're in edit mode, let's talk a little bit about all these tools we've got on the left hand side. here. So I think the first thing I'm going to say is, as you recall from the last video and the first one, which were object mode and viewport respectively, this set of tools here, you can see in the corner, those are available in object mode as well. But when you go, and I'll just click on object mode just to show that, okay? But when you go into edit mode, it's all these tools that become available. Now I'm gonna do a video on each of these tools so that you can get a little bit of a better idea of what each one does. But essentially all of them allow you to edit and manipulate whatever object you've got selected in your scene. So I have the classic cube here, and let's say I decide and I'll talk about what these are in a moment, but let's say I decide I want to extrude. I can do that with here. If I want to inset it, I can do that here as well. Okay, then I can choose to extrude again. You see, I'm starting to model something out there. Okay, so these are basically the tools that you can use to craft whatever object you want to make. Okay, and on to the next part, which is somewhere you're going to spend a fair bit of your time, actually. So... First thing I wanted to talk about was three, three buttons here, okay? So this is to select vertex or vertices and move those individually, okay? This one is to select edges, which you can do here and just move those individually. And this one is to select faces and move those individually, okay? Or manipulate them in a variety of ways that you want to do. Next part I wanted to talk about was this set of menus here. Now these are actually quite similar to what you see in object mode. So as you've got, you've got view, select, add, object. All look pretty similar. Go into edit mode, we've got view, select, add, and then it starts to change. So starting with view, it's pretty similar. You make changes to the toolbar, you can frame, you know, you can frame the selected objects, for example. Um, just by doing that. Um, you've got ways to change your cameras or your viewpoint, if you remember us actually doing that in the earlier videos as well. Okay, just deselect all of that. Um, select is similar as well. You know, you can select all, select none. You can invert your selection. Um, you can box select, circle select, lasso select if that's, if that's what you wanna do. Um, so that's quite similar. It's from add onwards that it changes up a bit. So with add, you know, we can add any of the base objects that we saw in object mode. As you can see here, mesh, well, we've got more selections in uh, object mode, but in terms of meshes, it's the same. So the first thing I wanted to say is that in edit mode, you can only really add meshes because the only thing you can really edit is meshes in this mode. Um, the second thing that I wanted to add, uh, no pun intended, about objects is, let me show you something again, go back into object mode. So we have this weird ass looking box that I've made, which is no good to anyone, but get the point. Okay. So I am now going to add a cylinder. Okay. So there we go. We've got our cylinder looking very nice. Great. It's also here in the outliner. Okay, if I undo that, 
and go to edit mode and I add a cylinder. Okay, great. Got a cylinder. Fine. But you notice we don't have a cylinder appearing here in the outliner. So that's the first key thing to understand. When you add an object in edit mode, okay, it will be added to the original object that you'd selected. In my case, it was this box, okay? If I was to add another three or four meshes to this to, to do something with it, uh, you know, I started scaling this up perhaps or something like that, they're all going to be considered part of the same mesh, okay? So that's the first thing to consider. The next one is mesh. And this is again pretty pretty similar to what you saw last time. You can move things, rotate them, scale them, uh, whatever you feel like doing, you know. Um, so that's not really any different. Um, there are a couple of other things where you can split meshes and you can separate them by selection, which I think is quite handy. So feeding back on what we talked about before, we now have three objects which are all under cube, okay? If we just wanted the cube here, we could simply select all of this, and I'm gonna go into X-ray mode to make sure I select everything, okay? And you can go to mesh, and you can separate or press P by selection. That is now a separate object, as we can see here. Name that cylinder. We also have this funky looking icosphere here, so we're gonna choose that. And I'm going to use the shortcut now by pressing P and I'm going to separate it by selection. You can do it by other parts as well, but I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Okay, I'm going to call that sphere. Okay, so now we've separated those out into separate objects. So it is possible to separate them here, but again, that's just something to be aware of. You also have more controls over your normals, your shading, and the weights that you want to apply. So for example, rather than just shading smooth or flat, I can do it with the faces, the edges, or the vertices, just like I had done previously. So for example, if I go to the cylinder, um, I could go to mesh here, and I could go to smooth faces, okay? As you can see, we've got our funky shading that we normally have, so I'm going to come down to normals I'm going to auto smooth that so we get a bit nicer nicer shading on that okay back into edit mode um, and that's it really again you can show and hide things in this um, in this mode as well but again no, none of that is really too different from object mode um, we also have a menu for vertex which again just gives you more control on what you can do with individual vertices again something you can't do in object mode so you can rip them or rather separate them you can slide them you can smooth them out which again is to do with the do with the um, you know how they're where, where they're positioned so I'll just show a couple of examples of this so let's say I want to rip vertices I could go to vertex mode come over here Let's say I want to separate these three vertices. Just click vertex, come down to rip vertices. I'm going to move those, they're now separated. Okay. I could also slide those vertices as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another edge loop. Okay. And then let's just go to vertex here, slide vertices or shift V if that's what you prefer. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to select, I'm going to box select these four, okay? And let's say I only need to move those up maybe halfway up here to about this position, okay? I can just go Shift V and then I can start to slide these up, let's say around about there. So let's say I want to have some kind of lip here or something and I want to create some extra kind of detail there possibly. Okay, let's say I wanted to add another edge loop and I move that up, for example, and then I could select these vertices. Okay, Shift V to slide, and then I could move them up like that. I mean, this is a bit thin here, 
But what I could then do is just, oops, I could, I'm going to turn x-ray off now, but I could just uh, select all of these round here. And then I could do something like uh, extrude, for example. Just push those in. Okay. Oh no, chose the wrong one. Extrude along normals. There we go. Okay. And then I could push that in. Maybe, maybe that's just a simple design that I'm going for, where I just want some little edges just to be working in there. But that's something that you can do there. You have something similar for faces as well. So, you know, some of these options are down here, uh, which if we have a look here, you've got intersect, you've got fill. Um, if you've got a hole in your mesh, for example, um, intersect uh, with, you know, with booleans, which is also a modifier over here you can do. And then you've got UV as well, which I'm gonna be doing a separate video on, but this is where you also unwrap your objects too. Um, or rather it's one, one place where you have options to select particular faces and then unwrap those as part of UV editing. Okay, so that's mainly what those menus do. That just gives you a rough idea of some of the things you can do and some of the, some of the things that are available here that are not available in object mode. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you about in regards to edit mode was the context sensitive menus, which can be called up by clicking the right mouse button, okay? Now, the first thing that I really need to tell you about is that this menu will change depending on what you have selected here. So if I select vertices and I right click, I get a number of options of what I can do with vertices, many of which, you can, be, which can be found in this menu here as well. But if I right click, I can extrude or bevel vertices, I could shrink or flatten them, for example. Let's say I want to shear these vertices. I can right click, choose shear, and there you go. I can move those like that, okay? If I click on edge and then a right click, it, they're quite similar options, but you notice that, you know, a lot of these are now to do with what you can, you know, what you can do with edge operations. So again, like vertices, I can extrude or bevel them but they have some edge specific features like being able to add bevel weights or creases or for you you know for uv purposes i can mark seams for example and maybe i want to mark seams all around here for example and then there is actually a seam around around that face now which means it will be separated from the rest of the mesh when I'm UV editing, but we can talk more about that later. Okay, has similar options for splitting and separating and also dissolving edges as well if you want to get rid of an edge, which is uh, sometimes a good idea. Uh, this is going to break this mesh, but if I click dissolve edge, you can see how that's just dissolved now and given us a very, a very odd looking, very odd looking model. Well, it wouldn't be odd, but we don't have a, we don't have a separating line there. And then if I go to face, it's the same thing again. I right click, I have options for faces. So for example, I could choose this face and then I could extrude that face. Um, I could, um, for example, choose these faces and I could shade smooth, which would give us a little bit of an odd result. If I just unselect that you can see it's kind of got this very bulbous shape on that whereas it's very flat on this side so I'm going to go back to shade flat shade flat okay that's better but that's just something to be aware of there's lots of options but if you want to get to context sensitive uh, you know quick menu commands which are commonly used in edit mode whether you make sure you're on the right selection box here whether it's vertices edges or faces you right click with the mouse button and you get your options there okay and if you can't find what you're looking for there you'll almost certainly find them in vertex edge or face up here and that is literally or you know an over 
an overview of the commands in edit mode and what you can do with objects in edit mode. Now there is a whole lot of other stuff to cover in terms of how to model objects and how to use each of these tools. I'm not going to go through all that in this video, this is just an introduction to what edit mode is and the kind of things you can do and like viewport, um, finding out what you can do in each of each of these selections here on just what each of them means.